туда! Не надо туда! Стой! Andrei Andreevich Zhivago was perhaps not the best of men. And some would say he lost his way in life. But God is merciful. He welcomes sinners too. And which of us could stand up and say, we are without sin? I wonder you're the brass neck to show yourself here, sir. My dear Grimiko, I'm here to mourn my friend. Friend? My cousin was a good man until he met you. A good man? What sort of man leaves his only child alone and destitute? <laughs> My papa's a good man. If my presence offends anyone, then of course I will take my leave. I sought only to do what I could for the sake of the family. I don't like that man. You don't have to see him again. You're going to come and live with us now, in Moscow. Got him again, got him again. No, stay there, you nice little rat. That's a good little rat. Oh, oh, he bit me right in the thumb. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'll just have to pull it off, I think. <clears throat> Tonya? Stick it back on, Papa. Hmm? What do you think, Yuri? Huh? Oh, all right. Hmm. 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 What a lot of old nonsense, eh? <laughs> there we are. You're going to have to be very patient with us, you know. Tanya, why don't you take Yuri and show him your things? 
to observe the progress of the disease. The outlook for most of these children is pretty bleak, I'm afraid. So, you so, help me, sir, please. My son is dying. He can't catch his breath. Please. Well, here's a chance to see what you've learnt. Excuse me, sister. Put the boy down. Is he correct? Is he dying? Diagnosis. Acute diphtheria. The air passage is blocked. Very good. Recommendation? Open the trachea, sir. Excellent, I agree. Well, then, go ahead. Sir, I, I've never performed that. You've seen it done enough times, haven't you? Let's see how you get on. Come on. I'll do my best for you. What about an anaesthetic? There isn't time. Fifty-fifty chance he'll die, of course. That's the unfortunate truth. It's not an unfortunate truth, sir. It's a direct result of appalling sanitation. Zhivago. What's this? Poetry? Your own? Yes, sir. Not only do you want to be a doctor, you want to be a voice of the people as well. No, sir. I just want my own voice. I'll be a doctor for others and a poet for myself. Well, you've made a good start. Trying to impress everyone, Shivago? I was terrified, Nisha. No, you have a true vocation. Me, I only had one ambition as a boy. And what was that? lose my virginity. <laughs> so what made you want to be a doctor? Oh, well, I just thought it would be a good way to see women without their clothes on. Hello, Tonya. How are you? Hello. What's so funny? What have you been talking about? Nothing much. Hopes, dreams, what the future may hold, the meaning of life. My favorite sort of conversation. Come on. <laughs> you want to know what I think? When the revolution comes, there won't be any characters like me. And everyone will be good, like Tonya. I shall make it compulsory. It won't happen, Nisha. Each one of us is utterly unique. Look. Those millions of cells growing and changing. The blood coursing through the arteries. So what is it that makes us this and not that? How does love grow? What is it that makes us choose 
This one? No. Not that one. Uh, well... <laughs> you think I'm talking rubbish, don't you? No. No, no. What you are talking about, forgive me, Tonya, is the reproductive instinct. Sex, that's all. No, no, there's so much more than that. It's all a mystery. Love. The idea that there's someone already there in the world who might hold the key to your whole existence. No. Yuri. Love is no mystery. Love equals lust plus tenderness. A simple formula. Example. I look at Tonya here. You talk about me as if I'm something on a laboratory table. <laughs> Forgive me, Tonya. I'm sorry. I have a voice, too. Please. <laughs> Let us hear it. I agree with you. Love is a mystery. Sex without love is just a basic instinct. Cigarette. Don't tell mother. Is he still here? I can't bear it. He has other women too, you know. It's so humiliating for her. He's like his dog. They're all like that. They can't help themselves. <coughs> He's not so bad. I'd have him if he asked me. Have, have you really done it? <sighs> What's it like? Here they come. Lara, you should be studying. <sighs> what can one do with them? Good evening, Larissa. Good evening, Mr. Kolorovsky. Excuse me. Will we see you again soon? Well, I don't know. I've got rather a lot on my plate at the moment, but um, perhaps in a day or two. Well, ladies, I must love you all <laughs> Ah, so many beautiful women and so little. What is it? Nothing. Don't take any notice of me. It's him, isn't it? He's tired of me, Laura. He's tired of it all. Has he said so? No. But I can tell the way he looks at me. I'm afraid he's going to leave us. He won't leave, Mother. He loves it here. His own private little playground. He's not tired in the least. You really think that, Lara? I'm sure of it. <laughs> well, I shouldn't talk to you of such things, really, and you shouldn't think of it. Is it? 
Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let me see. <laughs> I knew you were writing a poem. It's a poem about love. You think? I think it's beautiful. Is it... Is it about anyone in particular? Who knows where inspiration comes from? for better wages and better conditions. For a chance. Yes, together we do have a chance. We're all one now, all together. We'll make them sit up and take notice. He's right. Yes. 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 How can you do this to me? Haven't I always looked after you? Don't take on, madame. It's nothing personal. It's only one day. There's no need for employers and workers to be enemies. Come and join us, Madame Guisha. We all want a better world. Well, where are we going? Alexander Square. Let's make a move. Come on, come on. No, 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 please don't. Pasha! Oh. What are you up to? Have you joined the revolutionists? No, no. Well, not yet. You're not angry with me, are you, Laura? I don't care what you do. Why not join us? I can't, can I? I've got to go to school. Walk with me, if you like. Come in, Antipa! I can't. I've got to go. Sit yourself. Come in, Antipa! You've seen me after school, then. I can't believe what those women did. I'm just letting off steam. Just let them have their day, Amalia. You'll be known as a liberal employer. Could count for something in the days to come. What days to come? So restless, Amalia. Now stop that. Come back to bed. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking. It's about time Lara had a proper grown-up dress. Why don't you let me buy one for her? She deserves it. She's going to be a beauty, that one. What's the matter, Amari? It's a perfectly innocent suggestion. Yeah. 
fishing. You know, he says to me sometimes we're the only family he has. We mustn't upset him. So this is all for him, is it? No. Oh, any other girl would be thrilled. And you'll see you'll have a lovely time. Mother. Darling. You have to go. And Lara, please be nice to him. For my sake. Hmm? <laughs> Everyone's looking at you. Do you know why? You know why. I don't know anything about this sort of food. Hmm. Well, perhaps you'd let me order for you. Yes, please, anything. I, I don't mind. Uh, excuse me. Mr. Tell him yes, one minute only. Of course. People problems. To you. Mr. Komarovsky, I'm so grateful. Excuse me, mademoiselle, I'm so sorry to interrupt your evening. But... Don't worry, that's all right. It'll be taken care of. No, 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 please, please. It's nothing. They really need you, don't they? They hang on your every word. It's ironic, isn't it? They hang on my every word and you don't care tuppence for me. And what makes you think that? Dear, how extraordinary you are. what it's all been about, isn't it? So all right. What do you do? Ask for a room. I'm sure you've done this before. Larissa, believe me, this was never in my mind. Yes, it was. Don't lie about it. I don't want any lies between you and me. I'm tired of being a child. Very well.
Turn around. Mama? Mama? She's been asking for you. Yuri. Oh, Yuri. Yeah. Is it come, Yuri? Is it now? Shh. Let me feel your pulse. It's passing. 
I feel as if the whole of me, my whole life, as if it's being pulled out of me like a tooth. You know? I don't want to leave you all. You're not dying. You're not dying, Anna. I know the signs. I give you my word. Clara, this is really too much. Twice this week after midnight. What are people going to think of us? An opera lasts as long as it lasts, Mother. I can't make it any shorter. Don't speak to me like that. As if you had contempt for me. I don't have contempt for you. I'm sorry I came home late, but it really couldn't be helped. Go to bed. Go on and let me go. I, I'm tired. But this culture on, Lara, something must be said. You should be doing your homework in the evenings, not... Not what? Don't you think it's a bit late for this? It isn't proper. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before. Clara, I know that nothing really wrong has happened, has it? We can't speak the truth at all, can we? No. You were supposed to be my mother. You were supposed to take care of me. I'm going to bed. Do you don't come to see me? You don't answer my notes. I'm worried about you. Yeah. Let me at least drive you home. No. Good afternoon, ladies. Would you like to introduce me to your friends? slept for a week. I can't bear it not seeing you. My life's in tatters. I can't think. I can't work. I should never have met you. You say that? It's wrong. The whole situation is terrible. But, Laura... Marissa. 
You are the love of my life. It's the truth. on some greasy sofa. I'll tease you with a bloody slice of my heart until you beg for mercy. If you want me to, I'll rage and roll. Good God, I hope your stuff's not like this. Good evening, sir. Oh, no, 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 I'm very flat that you came. May I present Antonio Gromico? Hey, you! Your fiancé? Take off your head! Antonio! His best friend. My boy! Mayakovsky and Block are doing the first half, and I'm on after it. Let's take a crack and call him Russia. What? Mother Russia! Assistant. Is he all right? Can he keep his mouth shut? Now, what is it? Suicide. Attempted suicide, I should say. Mm. What's your taken? Iodine. How long ago? Come on. That's it. You must try to wake up. What's her name? Her first name? Amalia. Well, let's get it out of her as much as we can. Amalia, you must be very brave and help me. Now swallow this for me. That's it. Someone did. Is your involvement, Victor? Nothing. I'm just a friend of the family's. I advised Madame Guichard with her business as a daughter. It's lucky I was here. <laughs> Done well. Don't scrub it.
you shouldn't have waited up. So what happened? What took you so long? There's too much to tell you now. We sell all the properties and, and realize the assets. Andre, Andre, try to understand. There are no assets left to realize. Look, here and here, your signature. You've signed them all away, Andre. How could you let me do it? A man must trust his own lawyer. There was no reasoning with you. my friend, don't try to blame me for ruining your life. Each of us is in charge of our own soul. You sold yours a long time ago, I think. Eh? Papa. Papa. <laughs> there, there. Nothing to worry about. Just business, that's all. Business, hmm? <laughs> Everything will be all right. Mm. Mm. It'll be all right. Why did you go away, Papa? Listen to me, Yuri. Listen. You won't be like me. And you will grow up to be a good man. Hmm? The best of men. By you, by you, Shkeen, by you. Can you, can you remember that? By you, by you, Shkeen, by you. you. Sing, sing, sing the song with me. Come, sing, sing with me. By you, by you, ski by you. Look out of the window and sing the song. By you, by you, ski by you.
If you try to see me again, I'll kill myself. I mean it. I'm not like my mother. What I say I'll do, I will do. I'm not doing any harm. Leave him. No. You won't shoot. We're not savages yet.
Let me speak to her. What do you think you were doing? Could have been killed. Get away from me. I don't want to see you anymore. For God's sake, Gla, I just want to protect you. I could have told you what would happen. You knew? Of course I knew. Worse than they are. Spare me your schoolgirl moral judgments. The thing had to be done and that's that. Now listen to me. The revolution may be happening, but not yet. And when it does come, they'll string you up. And do you think I'll be sorry? No. No, I'll be happy. I'll take photographs. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but that is not going to happen. The revolutionary government will need my help as much as this lot. I don't care. They need me to show them how to get things it's done. nothing to do with me. You're nothing to do with me. It's over. Lara, Lara, Lara. Did you really think you could escape as easily as that with one little letter? Why don't we show it to your mother? You're disgusting. You, my dear, are, shall we say, quite exceptional for a girl of your age. You think you're so pure. I know what you're like. You like the pleasures of life. The fine wine and the pretty dresses and all the rest of it. I think I've spoiled you for anyone else. We are two of a kind, Larissa. Oh, let's do that. Let's confess everything to Mother. Perhaps she'll go through with it this time. Finish the job. Let's talk to Mama. No? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. together. You see, I was right. Come sit. Now, he's been telling me you're worried about going to the party without me. I've never heard anything so silly. Of course you must go. And Alexander, too. They must see you both together. Such a beautiful couple. And you, you must tell me everything that happened and what everybody said. And how my Tonya and my Yuri were admired. There. Lucy, no point in arguing. You two must stay together. You were meant for each other. It's what I always hoped for. It's the right thing. Yes. You must get married. There now. <laughs> I've betrothed you. Off you go. Have a lovely time. Off you go. Mm -hmm. This is paradise for me, Tony. You in my arms. Nice.
I... What did you do? <laughs> I'm sorry. It should be the easiest thing in the world to talk to you. And now... I know. Because of what Mother said. Yes, I suppose so. What did you think when she said it? I, I imagine they thought of us as brother and sister. Do you? you liked Misha. Misha. You didn't think I could ever feel like that about Misha. I don't know. You like him, don't you? Yes, I like him. But I could never love him. I love you, Yuri. I've always loved you. is here. Come along, my dear. Seems we have to thank you again, sir. 
You're a wondrous necessary man, Dr. Shivago. Shivago. <laughs> I knew your father very well. I was his lawyer. Yes, no. I know. I don't care to hear you speak of my father. As you wish. As I say, I just came to thank you. That bullet was meant for you, wasn't it? What have you done to that girl? Oh, Larissa. She never hurt me, you know. It was a gesture. She's a very passionate young woman. She's not for you. Yuri? Yuri! Come quickly. We've got to go home. I don't understand. Are you trying to kill him? I don't know anymore. Was it because of your mother? No, Pasha. It's over now. I'm a bad woman, Pasha. No. I think you know me, but you don't. You're not a bad woman, Laura. You're not. Tell me. Tell me what it is. Tell me what's upsetting you. I can't. I can't. I think it's time for me to grow up, Laura. I think it's time for me to stop fooling myself about you. You'll never really love me. However long I wait. I've decided I'm leaving Moscow. They say I'm a marked man now, Laura. A dangerous revolutionary. Me, I wouldn't hurt a fly. Where will you go? To the Urals. They're desperate for teachers there. So I'm going to be a teacher in a village school. Change the world in that way. Small steps. Teach them love and respect, as well as arithmetic and drawing. Take me with you. What? Take me with you. I'll help you. I'll be a teacher too. I'll teach the littlest ones. Pasha, we can be married. Laura, please. Don't say things like that when you don't mean them. I do mean it. I love you. Pasha, you're the only good person I know. Antonia Alexandrovna, my Tony, 
most loved of daughters, beautiful, clever, good and lovely. The only worry she ever gave us was who would be good enough to marry. <laughs> and it was my own dear Anna Ivanovna, may God rest us all, who saw that the solution lay right under our noses. And so, ladies and gentlemen, friends, you see before you the recipe for perfect happiness. I would ask you to raise your glasses and to drink to Yuri and Tony, a happy cup. Now, when you hold your candle, hold it as high as you can, higher than your husband. That means you'll always be the boss in your house. What if I don't want to be the boss? Big trouble. You do as I say, or you'll regret it. Gentlemen, a happy occasion. But so sad for those you leave behind. My dear young friends, without you, Moscow will be a desert, a Sahara. Indeed, I might be so distraught at the parting, I will have to come all the way to the Urals to look you up. That won't be necessary, Mr. Kamarovsky. With God's help, you'll manage without us. We aren't such a rarity, are we, Pasha? Good luck. I'm sure you'll find other young friends. Let's dance! So happy. <laughs> Laura, I, I want us to be utterly honest with each other. I, I want us to have no secrets. I want us to know everything about each other. Everything. Are you sure that's what you want? Dara. I'm your husband now. 
Right. But not yet. Put your arms up. <laughs> you first. What are you doing? Let me pass her. excited. You take, we take each other. And then I'd go and sit in school with all the other girls. All sticky from it. It wasn't your fault. He used his power, he forced you. No. He forced you. No. It was never like that. I chose it. I wouldn't let him seduce me. I told him to teach me everything. And he did. He showed me what we're really like men and women. And bit by bit, he made me hate him. But never as much as I hate myself. So now you know. Save me, Persa. No.
Good, good, well done. Now you all know poem in French. And go home and tell your mothers. They should be very, very proud of you. All right, stand up. Turn left. And out you go. Well done, a good day. Have a lovely afternoon. Well done, well done, Ivan. That was really good, well done. Men of Uriatid, we must all stand shoulder to shoulder. Now is your chance to fight for our beloved Tsar against the German invader. And with you two, soldiers of Russia, Shall we go to bed early for a change? Oh, you go. I'll finish these. Go on. You go now. If you like. No, I'll wait for you. Would you like something to drink? Something to eat, maybe? this. I can't keep pretending, even if you can. How do I pretend? I pretend that you love me. You never loved me at all. I can see it. Every time you look at me, Though you try so hard. Pasha, it is not true. I do love you. I'm happy here with you and Katya. We've made a good life here. We haven't. It's a sham. You know that as well as I do. Another troop train. I was thinking the best thing I could do is go to the front. Pasha, don't be so silly. You know you don't mean it. You treat me like a child. As if I were your little boy, I wanted to be your man.
Sergeant. Yes, I am. Look at these poor devils. Smashed up in a war that has nothing to do with them. Catch them up and send them back to the front. Isn't that right? Wake up! You've been fighting the wrong enemy! Don't kill the Germans! Kill the landlords! Kill the bosses! Back home! That's where the real war will be!
Do you have news about Pasha? I'm sorry, I... I know you, don't I? Do you? Yes. One night, y years ago at a party in Moscow, y you... There was an accident. With that? <sighs> nice name for it. I shot the wrong man, that was the accident. You needn't worry. I'm not like that anymore. I won't shoot you. And there was a time before that, wasn't there? Your mother was ill. I was hoping you wouldn't remember me. I don't think I can have made a very good impression on you before. You made an impression? So what brought you here? I left my little girl behind in Yuri Atten and I came to try to find my husband. 
but I've heard that he's missing, presumed dead. I'm so sorry. Perhaps I'd better tell you now. I'm not a trained nurse. Everything I've learned, I've learned here, but... I think you're managing very well. It's good to meet you properly at last. I don't even know your name. People call me Lara. It started. This fighting in St. Petersburg. It's the revolution! Revolution! Yuri Shavag. Pleased to meet you. Longing for home too. Yes. Aren't you? Mm. Are you married? Yes. So what she called your wife? Tonya. It's strange to think of her so far away. Feels like another world. We have a son, too. Sasha. Sasha. Yuri, Tonya, and Sasha. You're utterly contented. Yes. There's supposed to be a cottage hospital at Biryuch. You could try to take them there. Now, I can let you have one more cart. That's all. Come on! Back up! The war's as good as over! The Germans are fighting for my state! I'm going with the wounded. What about you? I understand. But this is Dr. Zhivago. He's come to sort everything out for you. He's a very famous doctor from Moscow and a true gentleman. 
what a perfect couple you make. Well, well, since I have no choice anyway, welcome to my house, Dr. Javago. <laughs> well, well, come, come. My dearest Tonya, I think of you and Sasha constantly. With all the troubles in Moscow, I feel almost guilty to be in such a peaceful backwater. I've even found time to write some poems. An odd coincidence. Do you remember that wild girl who shot Sventinsky? Would you believe she's my chief nurse here? Her name is Lara Antipova, and I don't know how I would manage without her. We are both trying to get away, but it's not easy. Either there are no trains at all, or else they are so full that there is no hope of getting in. Imagining things. Am I? With that wonderful nurse by his side? Oh, just looking for her. Ah, there they are. He's writing poems about her. And he feels almost guilty. Well, he needn't feel guilty at all. I wrote and told him that he should go away with her. And he needn't worry, his son will still be brought up to honor him. Oh, please, Tonya, this is all nonsense. Any man lucky enough to get you would never let you go. Michel, I love him so much. So much. Dr. Zhivago. Good night.
Uh, doctor! A letter. <coughs> From Moscow. I'm sure there's going to be trouble here soon. We could be in danger. I wish you'd leave before anything happens. We aren't in any danger here. I think we are, Lara. We've got the permits. so strange to leave this place. I suppose in a way I thought we'd be here forever. And now I'll be with Katya in Uryatin. And you'll be in Moscow. And we'll never see each other again. One day someone will ask you, do you happen to know a place called Viryuchi? There was a nurse there called Antipova. And you'll say no. No. I can't say that I do. One visits so many places and meets so many people in a lifetime. It won't be like that. I won't ever forget this time. Things won't ever be the same for us. We've been very good here, haven't we? I wish... I wish I could live two lives. My own. And to see you well and happy. To know you weren't in need of anything. I'm sure you'll find someone you could be happy with. Of course, I'd want to knock his teeth out. This is what I was afraid of. Thank you.